a thread by Brian the Great. Note what the latest series of declassifications since October have directly pointed at. From justthenews.com, Peter Strzok text message states FBI knew early on Steele was trying to influence election. Comey, Strzok, Brennan all knew before they presented the Carter Page FISA application to the FISA court. The guy they were using as the principal source was a Hillary Clinton campaign paid political operative who was leaking the dossier contents to multiple news media outlets. Now, you're going to say, yeah, well, we've known this for three and a half years now. Here's where I force you to focus. Knowing somebody did something and proving somebody did something in a courtroom are two different things. Knowing they knew and proving they knew are different. You need direct documentary evidence they knew so you can prove it in a court case. Now, let me remind you of something Trump often says. We have it all. He's only been saying that because they do have it all. But they wouldn't let us see it until recently. Let me use the struck page text messages that were declassified in October and given to Sidney Powell so she could use them in a key General Flynn court filing. Redacted versions of these text messages were made public back in December of 2017. I know because I read the redacted versions, every single mention of John Durham already investigating the Spygate plotters and pulling them in for interviews back in April of 2017 were carefully redacted for over three and a half years until this October. So any narrative where Grinnell or Ratcliffe or whoever opened up a desk drawer and stumbled over this and then rushed to get it declassified is a non-starter. The DOJ under Attorney General Jeff Sessions, then, a, then Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker, then Attorney General William Barr, didn't want anyone to know for three and a half years that Durham was already on the Spygate case by April of 2017. They let us know with a declassification when Durham started, when they were ready to make that information public. They had it all along. They've had all this evidence all along. They also let us know this October that Comey, Brennan, and Strzok had received reports in July of 2016 from the intelligence community that the Hillary Clinton campaign had launched a dirty tricks operation targeting the Trump campaign with smears of Russian collusion. They had that evidence all along also, but did not let the public and the goddamn media and Democrats know until they had declassified it this past October. Trump keeps saying, we have it all. People don't believe him because they're fixated on this idea that if they had this evidence proving Spygate, they'd have released it years ago. That is an assumption, and I don't believe it's a correct one. Everybody thinks they know what the timing should be, which means they end up thinking the people in charge of this operation for the past three and a half years have completely mishandled it. They assume they know more than Trump or anybody else involved in that inner circle. A lot of people are tuning out the new D-classes since October because they simply don't 
care anymore at this point. They don't care about the Durham investigation. They spend all day listening to conservative media calling Durham and Barr deep state traitors. And besides, they're constantly being told it's too late. Biden is getting sworn in in 31 days, and so nothing is going to come of any of this. Well, Trump seems pretty damn confident he's the one getting sworn in in 31 days. The D-classes being made now are to provide the direct documentary evidence that all involved knew Russiagate was always a hoax long before they officially launched Crossfire Hurricane and long before they submitted the Carter Page warrant to the FISA court in late October of 2016. Just as everything is coming into focus in preparation for the second Trump term, people are being told not to pay attention. They certainly shouldn't take these new de declassifications and go back and look at the events of January through July of 2017 with fresh eyes based on new evidence. When I do what the conservative media won't do, here's what I discover. I long suspected Durham was running a de facto special counsel's office with multiple other U.S. attorneys working under him. He had everything but the official title. Everyone was assuming that all these guys were doing their investigations independently and closed off from each other. I no longer believe that was the case. They were all investigating long before it was publicly acknowledged that they were all working under Durham. The last D-class on Thursday put the finger right on it. The text message where Strzok discusses with Lisa Page the multiple federal counterintelligence cases opened up to investigate Trump-Russia collusion before Crossfire launched on July 31st 2016. They've had this evidence all along also that Comey, Brennan, Strzok, all those involved have been lying for four years and never revealed these other Trump-Russia related investigations they were doing at the time Crossfire started up. That they classified this text message, that they declassified this text message from Strzok where he's casually mentioning multiple counterintelligence investigations of Trump-Russia collusion that have been hidden from sight for four years is your clue where things are at and what is coming in future drops. They're getting ready to show you what these other long-hidden counterintel cases were and when they started. This is so explosive that none of the Spygate plotters are even attempting any defensive leaks about it using their media allies. This will be new ground. Nobody will be able to say, yeah, we knew about these other counter-intel investigations besides Crossfire that were targeting the Trump campaign and associates for Russian collusion long ago. You could say you suspected there were others, but you could not have proven it with documentary evidence. I get the conservative media atmosphere right now. They don't care about the Durham Special Counsel's Office or how long it's actually been operating or what it's allowing to be declassified these days. They're all focused on the election drama. I'll end with this. Trump knows he's getting re-inaugurated in 31 days. Barr leaves the attorney general job on the 23rd, three days from now. Now, completely out in the open, the Durham Special Counsel's Office is hard at work. Joe's not going to make it. I will be the greatest 